there will be a time when you're looping through an item or a list using either a for loop or a while loop, and you're going to want to skip a bunch of code. And whenever Python hits the continue keyword in a loop, any sort of loop, any code below it in that same loop will not be executed. And whenever it hits the break keyword, it's going to break out of that loop. So let's, uh, let's just jump into a few examples here. So let's create a list of colors. And because we're not going to be adding, we could just use a, a tuple. We don't need to add or remove or pop or anything. So let's do blue, green, yellow, orange, red, purple, and that's it. So we've got these colors. And let's loop through these colors. And as soon as it hits, let's say, orange, we want it to stop. So let's do this thing where, you know, we write a for loop for color in colors. And we can say, if the color is equal to orange, continue. And what this is going to do is not do anything with orange. Otherwise, and we don't really need an else statement in here because every other scenario is already going to be an else statement, print color. So what this is doing is saying for every blue, for every color, we've got colors equal to blue, colors equal to green, then yellow, orange, red, and purple. And whenever it gets to orange, which is going to be this one here, it's just going to continue. Now, if the color is not orange, it's not going to continue. So it's just going to print the color. Now, effectively, what this is going to do is loop through all of these items and print them all out except for orange. Let's go ahead and smash that enter button, that shift enter, and execute this code. And so now we can see blue, green, yellow, orange was not in there, red and purple. And so all this did was effectively say, hey, if the color is orange, continue. And it did not print anything below it. Nothing below this was executed in the for loop. Now just to prove that continue has nothing to do with anything outside of a for loop, let's print starting the loop. And outside of the loop, at the end of it, loop has ended. So starting a loop. Blue, green, yellow, no orange, red, purple, and loop has ended. Now let's go ahead and do this exact same example, but instead of just skipping orange, we're going to tell the loop to totally stop. So it's not going to do orange, it's not going to print red or purple at all. And we do that with the break keyword here. So we're going to start the loop for color and color. If the color is now equal to orange, break. Otherwise, in every other scenario, keep printing color. So it's going to print blue, green, yellow. It's going to get to orange and say, oh, you know what, I gotta break out of this loop, too bad. So orange does not get printed, red does not get printed, and purple will also not get printed. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. And just like that, starting the loop, blue, green, yellow, it hit orange and it broke out of the loop so the other colors were not printed. Now let's go ahead and do this with a while loop. This is actually a little bit funner because what we can do is sort of create a guessing game here. We can do while something is true, and this is just going to run forever. We could say the name is equal to input guess my name, and then you enter a name. And then you can say if the name is equal to, ah, let's do it so it's lowercase. So if the name in lowercase is equal to Henry, do print you win and break out of that loop. Otherwise, if it is not Henry, we could do an else statement in here, which we don't actually need because, well, if this if statement executes, the whole while loop is going to end and nothing below this is actually going to execute. So we don't really need an else statement in there. Otherwise, we could say print, that was the wrong name. Try again. And let's go ahead and execute this. Guess my name. I don't know. Is the name Zephyr? Uh, nope. Is the name Caleb? Nope. Is the name Jacob? Nope. What could this name possibly be? Now we have the source code, so we know that it's going to be Henry. And I could type in H-E-N-R-Y, hit it, and it says you win, and it breaks out of the loop. And that's how you create a little bit of a guessing game here. Now what I would like you to do is create a loop with a tuple, list, or a set, and then, well, actually don't use a set because it's not in order. 
So use a list or a tuple. Loop through whatever the values are. I just use colors, maybe you use numbers or names or something. And I want you to get a little bit of hands-on practice with continue and the break keywords. And if you're feeling really up for it, a little bit more am ambitious, uh, go ahead and create a little guessing game like this.